Because, okay, so the get over here line, a lot of people are shitting on that. And like, I even fucking tweeted out to fucking, I don't know, Angry Joe or something. Somebody was shitting on the get over here line in the Mortal Kombat movie. And I'm like, are y'all not, like, logical? Right? Because the argument is like, okay, Scorpion, he only speaks Japanese. That's why he couldn't understand Sub-Zero speaking Chinese. And then all of a sudden, 500, year ladies, 500 years later, he appears as a fucking wispy specter. And now he speaks English. And I get it that that logic is fucking stupid, right? As If this was any other movie, I would say that's the dumbest shit and that ruined the movie for me. But this is Mortal Kombat, okay? This is Mortal Kombat and a lot of people that are mad about that line don't understand the history and heritage of Mortal Kombat. Specifically, and John Tobias said this in Twitter, specifically that the essence of Sub-Zero and Scorpion is to expose basically how racist people were in the 90s, right? He made them look the same and made them both ninjas, but he made Sub-Zero Chinese to expose how ignorant people were thinking that Chinese people are ninjas, right? And that's why it's, so I'm no ninja, I am Lin Kuei, Scorpion's a ninja, right? It was to expose that people were ignorant about the Chinese warrior, right? The Chinese ninja warrior is not a ninja, he's Chinese, and that Scorpion's a ninja. And so the movie tried to pay homage to that by making sure that Scorpion spoke Japanese and Sub-Zero spoke Chinese. That was an homage to the original intention behind those two characters and why uh, John Tobias made them so similar. So when Scorpion comes back and he throws the spear and he says, get over here, I want you people that are criticizing the most iconic line in the franchise. Like that line was going to be in this movie. If that line wasn't in this movie, people would be losing their shit. What? Scorpion didn't even say the one fucking thing Mortal Kombat's known for? Mortal Kombat is known for like three lines. Get over here, finish him, fatality. You ask anybody about Mortal Kombat, they're going to say one of those three things. Oh yeah, Scorpion, get over here, right? Oh yeah, finish him, fatality. Everybody that knows about Mortal Kombat may or may not like it knows those lines. So they had to be in this movie as fan service. They weren't going to not have Scorpion say, get over here. So for the people that are criticizing that he's saying it in English, would you have rather Scorpion, like, let's think about this logically. Would you have rather Scorpion said that shit in Japanese? Like, and then have it subtitled, right? Have words on the ball, get over here, exclamation point. Is that what people are really saying they want? Like, I'm cool with them having ja uh, Scorpion speak Japanese because that's, like, what his character's all about. Fucking Japanese shit. He's a ninja from fucking Japan. He's going to speak Japanese, all right? But it's an American game, and Ed Boon did the voice actor work for Scorpion. I don't think he speaks a whole lot of Japanese. So he said, get over here in English when the game was invented. And I don't get people saying that, like, that's stupid and it's a plot hole and it ruins the movie. It is stupid. It is a plot hole. But it doesn't ruin the movie. It would have ruined the movie if he didn't say it. It would have ruined the movie for most of the fans. And that's, where, that's why I, I shit on this movie. I call out its criticisms and, and shortcomings, but I still will defend it as a piece of really stupid but hilariously fun media. Um, because, I mean, at the end of the day, what Mortal Kombat movie do we want? Do we want, like, a fucking Oscar bait fucking Mortal Kombat movie? Like, like some boys don't cry shit that's, like, all about our feelings and, and you know, emotions? Or do we want a bunch of cheesy fucking corny ass lines? Like, people saying fucking witty quips, but with bad timing, bad comedic timing, and, and bad writing? To me, that's the essence of Mortal Kombat is bad fucking jokes and like it's so bad that it's funny. It's cheesy. It's corny. It goes out of its way to be stupid as fuck. They added friendships and babalities to this dumb shit. The movie tries to be as cringe and, or the game tries to be as cringe as possible. So Scorpion all of a sudden learning English 500 years ago, to me, that's on brand for Mortal Kombat. Like it just makes sense for Mortal Kombat, the movie about this game. And I think anybody who is complaining about that is like, they're, they're the nerds at the party, right? But they're not the cool nerds like you and me, right? Because nerds like you and me are the kind of nerds that we get stoned and then we slam down a couple of shots and then we play some video games and give each other noogies, right? And we just, Fucking noogie, ah, fatality, right? We're those kind of nerds, right? But the, the people that are complaining about Scorpion saying get over here 
in English are those nerds that ruin your buzz, right? They'll fucking sit there. You're sitting in a powwow, right? There's a little bonfire. I know you've been here before. You're sitting in a powwow, and you're passing the bong. You fucking hit that shit, right? You fucking hit the bong. Oh, this is good shit. And then you pass it to your friend. He hits the fucking bong. Then you start talking about cool shit, and you're like, man, yo, you know what I'm saying? Taylor Swift, she is not really what I would be all about, but I'm a sucker for bangs and nice legs. And Taylor Swift got bangs and nice legs. And your friend, the try-hard nerd, turns and says, You know what, man? That's the problem with music today is pop music. Man, that shit's all vapid, disposable shit, dog. You ain't even, like, you don't even know about real underground indie fucking country music. Some weird, obscure shit that I don't want to fucking listen to. And I don't give a shit. That's those motherfuckers. That's those mo You can't appreciate a girl with some clean bangs and some nice gams. You got to sit here and turn this fucking over-sexualization of a pop star princess into some goddamn dissertation on the problems with the music industry. I don't want to fucks with you. I don't want to hang out with you. I want to smoke my weed and ogle women that are out of my league and play Mortal Kombat and laugh at cheesy jokes in the fucking movie. That's what I want. And you people are tryhards and you're lame. That's why nobody likes you and you can't get laid.